the JFK files. And one of the things that you said was that if they showed you what they showed me, this is your quote, you wouldn't want people to know it either. Um, so I, I opened them up partially. I was met with, from good people, I mean, you know, look, I mean, good people. People that were well-meaning. Mike Pompeo was one of them. He's a good person. Uh, they called me. They said, sir, would rather have you not. After, and I did open them. But I was asked by some people not to open them. There's a Martin Luther King file, too, by the way, that they'd like to see. I don't know if you know, but there is that. But, but JFK in particular. So... They called me, a lot of good people called me, people that I, you know, that you would find reasonable people. And they asked me not to do it. So I said, well, we'll close it for another time. But if I win, I'm going to open them up. I'm just going to open enough Why time. Why didn't you gonna... open it up the first time? Because though? a lot was, of times, the hesitation, uh, addresses, people that are still living, there are people that are affected. Um, and there could be some national security reason that for you know that I don't have to necessarily know about, but some very good talented people asked me not to do it. Uh, I opened it up, and then they said, "Would it be possible for us to do that a different day?" What? Well, like how Nobody, much of it did you read into? Uh, I, I think it's going to be just fine to open it. Let me put it that way. I think it's fine. It's going to be time. It's a cleansing, you know, it's really a cleansing. So I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it immediately, almost immediately upon entering office. Well, the thing, when people look at it from the outside and you sort of imagine what could be a reason why they yeah. would not release those files, it would be, there's people that were implicated That's in the assassination. Yeah. Well, when there are living people, you generally tend not to wanna to do it. When people are still living, Living people that formerly worked for the government. Uh, for the government and living people that were somehow involved in it. And you tend not to do that. Uh, but uh, it's time to open them. Um, I can't tell you whether or not uh, they're going to find anything of interest. And I did partially open. I think I, I've opened 50%. But I was asked not to do it. And I, I, I thought that was a reasonable ask. But now I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it very soon. There's a lot of interest in it. One of the things that there's I'm there's a very... lot of interest in uh, the uh, people coming from space, you know. Yes. And I know you're interested. Oh, in Oh, I'm that very too. interested in that. How much do they tell you about that? A lot. Really? Yeah. What do they tell you? How much can you tell? So I. How's that work? Is it like super I think top I secret? Can tell, you know, tell I think, me. Well, based on Hunter Biden, I can say whatever the hell yes. I want, right? But no. But I interviewed a few people. It's never been my thing. I have to be honest. I I have never been a believer. I have people that. Area 51 or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I think it's the number one tourist attraction in the whole country or something. Area 51 in Las Vegas. Do you know that, right? Sure. I know what it is. So anyway, but it's a big tourist thing. So I interviewed jet pilots that say they saw something. If you saw them, you'd love to have them. As I've had son. a couple in here. Commander yeah. David Fravor. Yeah. Uh, I had him in, the, who had that sighting in 2004. Very, yeah. very compelling with visual, very visual compelling. video evidence, radar evidence. I Ryan Graves. I don't believe his name, but I, I interviewed jet pilots that uh, were solid people. The perfect. I mean, great pilots, great everything. And they said, we saw things, sir, that were, were very strange. Like a round ball, but it wasn't a comet or a meteor. It was something. And it was going four times faster than an F-22, which is a very fast plant, you know. And it was round, um, which is, in, in theory, a great shape. So you when you were talking to these people, was was this something that you were compelled to have conversations no. about? Was this your personal interest? No, a, a little bit. It, it's not a great interest for me, but it's a little interest. I get that question as much as almost any question. Do you think that we have aliens coming, you know, flying around or whatever? What do you think? There's no reason not to. I mean, there's no reason not to think that Mars and all these planets don't have life, you know, because Well, we, Mars, we've had probes there and well, rovers we, yeah, and but, I don't yeah. think there's any life there. Well, maybe it's life that we don't know, but maybe well, it's Well, maybe there was life there at one point in time. This yeah. is a speculation about Mars that Mars had a, 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 an atmosphere at one point in time a long time ago that could support life. It also yeah. also had large bodies of water, but we've had no evidence of even bacterial life that exists on Mars. But 
the it's universe not is been a big vast. thing for me. I mean, when I looked at what China did to this, admit they would have never done it with me. Where they put the balloon up, mm-hmm. and a lot of people thought, and a lot of people thought for a little while that that was right. you know, one of these things. So, well, that's you know, a lot of the speculation too. That some of these drones that hover be. over battleships that these are Chinese drones and that, that they're not be. UFOs. They could be also. There's some super sophisticated. But I did interview, uh, let's say three or four guys that, and without tremendous interest. If you had them, as I said, you'd love to have them as your children. Solid, beautiful people. They said, sir, there's something there. You know, they've... There's they something there. Said it, yeah. Yeah, I've talked to quite a few of They're them. They're not conspiracy have, guys. Well, I mean, the just the Commander David Fravor thing in 2004 off the coast of San Diego, they clocked that thing going yeah. from 50,000 feet above sea level to 50 in a second. <laughs> yeah. They don't know what that's, it is. That's tough to beat. Yeah, they, they saw something in the water. It was hovering over that something that was making a disturbance in the water. They got video evidence of this thing. The two different fighter jets f- with pilots in them saw it. There's you know visual evidence, photographic evidence, video evidence, radar evidence. Whatever the hell it is, it moves in a way that would turn a human being into jello if yeah. they were inside of it. The G-force, no one would survive. Oh, so like, G-force. what is that? And we don't. They, it doesn't have a heat signature. They don't know what their propulsion system was. 